Hi, I'm Monica Bay. We're at the University of Florida. We're a fantastic e-discovery program. It's just been an amazing day. And I'm with Julie Brown. Julie, tell our audience a little bit about yourself, where you work, and what you do. So um, I, I'm a litigation technology manager at a law firm um, named Boris Sater, Seymour & Peace in Columbus, Ohio. I've been there 14 years working um, as a litigation technologist and supporting the attorneys and legal teams um, in electronic discovery. It seems to me, and, and, and I started my career also doing discovery before there was an E in front of it and put myself in law school with that. So I think we've both been in that wonderful position of really watching the infancy of e-discovery and seeing it explode right now. Um, in terms of trying to explain a lot of this to new law students who may be doing it for the first time, what do you see as the biggest changes in the last, say, 10 years? I think um, we really need um, attorneys that understand um, computers and systems and um, not so much because they need to know that to review documents or anything like that, but to strategically deal with the volume of data that we have. Um, what I think the, the biggest thing I've seen is what used to be a big case, which was 150,000 documents, yeah. you know, when it was paper and you'd hire in a bunch of attorneys to review, is, is really small in today's world. Exactly. And so the cases have gotten so enormous that it really requires an attorney who can understand and make decisions and you know strategize how we're going to handle it and how we can best um, reduce the cost of it for the yeah. client. And the, a lot of times the comp, the, there are more complex things, there are more parties involved and it does get very, very uh, to the point where some of the judges like Judge Facciola have been talking about saying, look, if we don't control the costs right. of doing this, we're the only people who will be able to litigate are the multi, multi, multi big corporate global organizations. Right. So what advice would you give to the new generation that's coming up? What are their strengths? What are their weaknesses? And why is it so important that they, that they really understand that, that, that e-discovery isn't just being stuck in some trashy room looking at documents anymore? All right. I, I, I mean, when I hear attorneys make comments like, I don't, I don't want to do technology, um, my first response typically is then you're not going to be a litigator, right? Because um, it's not going away, it's getting worse. And so you either learn how to deal with it and how to make good decisions, um, or in, in my view, you're not going to be a litigator. And um, I would actually say it's, it's getting better because the tools are getting so sophisticated right. and they are able to do predictive coding is probably a great example of being able to do so much early assessment, uh, figuring out, okay, what are our issues and everything. Yeah. So to me, it's no longer, we're no longer in the back, back doors, we're at the cutting edge. How do you think in your experience that lawyers coming in, new lawyers coming in, if they do know these these technologies, does it give them a foot ahead at this stage or are we still premature on that? I, I think it gives them a huge um, foot ahead and, and in fact we've recently hired some attorneys for a very large case we have and one of them has just um, shown, I mean she just she, she really has a knack for understanding the technology and understanding what strategies we're going to have to apply to the case so while she was hired to do a docu document review predominantly she really has become kind of a leader of everybody and is really guiding the, the review more than just doing the review. And you know, that's exciting on a lot of levels. And one of the levels that, that I've been passionate about, I recently retired from Law Technology News, and one of the things I championed was making sure that the law firms were crediting the people who weren't the lawyers, who were members of the team and were doing that. And I've also been pretty pretty cranky about the 17 percent uh, 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 gender uh, money situation that their earnings are, are, are if you're a woman across the board 17 percent less than the men are making so I get really excited about this too because of the opportunities it is to, for us to get more diversity and more women in so it's very exciting to hear that you have a strong leader in there as yeah. just as you are yeah. Yeah. thank you uh, any last recommendations or advice for students right now you know, I, I think I looked back over the past several years and, you know, it was very difficult for attorneys to find jobs um, because of the economy and 
So a lot of them were landing in document review positions and you know, my biggest comment was always, you really need to start learning e-discovery because the, the demand is there and it's gonna be growing. And the best way to get your foot in the door, I think, is to stand out and not just be an attorney, but somebody who can actually um, show value um, right out of the door, right that, out of the gate. That is a perfect place for us to stop, beautifully put together. Thank Good. you so much. I'm Monica Bay and thank you for watching.